You know, a minute ago, I went and looked at um, Sergeant Willie Pete's video. I watched five of them. Um, I don't agree with a lot of what he said. But from a black man's perspective, and in my experience with the women of my culture, I love black women. Um, a black woman smile. Remember that video I sent to you? Um, I look at black women like that video. Black women are tough, rough. Even the soft ones are tough. Even the the mean ones are soft. The thing with black women is this. Like the video says, 500 years of grief on their back. How you expect a black woman to act? So, that wasn't in the video that came out of my head. So, you have to look and think about that poem, you know, what it takes to make a black woman smile. Now, a lot of black women have attitudes. But us black men, we have attitudes too. So you look at the big picture. No matter what the woman is, what color the woman is, what the sex the woman is, or whatever. Look at the what. Look at what the woman is. Every woman needs a real man. Willie Pete might be somebody's man. I don't know. But what I do know is this. You can knock everything. You can disrespect everyone. And you can hate everybody. But in the end, what are you? What were your parents? And what was your mama? Was your mama a black woman? She a bitch? She a hoe? She some black tramp? Some slutty ass bitch who can't keep her mouth shut? Regardless of what that was, what that could be, what that may be, before she was black, she was a woman. And before you lost respect for her, she was just like your mom. A black woman. A white woman will treat you the same as a black woman will if you give her enough time. A white woman can see just like a black woman can if you fuck up long enough in front of her. So it's not what color the woman is. It's the content of the man that she has. Because you can be a man with nothing and show nothing but the utmost respect for your woman and still, still come out on top. Or you can sit back and talk shit about a set certain woman or all women and wonder why you can't keep one. Wonder why they don't respect you. Because with any kind of respect, you must first give it in order to receive it. You don't have to be a black man, white man, purple man, China man, Mexican man. You can be any man. And you can be any woman. The key is respecting that woman for who she is. Not for what she is, but for who she is. Are you gonna treat a white woman a white woman better than you gonna treat a black woman? Are you gonna treat a, a Asian woman different than you gonna treat a Mexican woman? If it's your woman, you treat her with respect, regardless of what she is. Because honestly, I can tell you, 
and I don't really know you, I can tell you this. If you ain't shit, and you have a shitty attitude towards people, and you have a shitty attitude towards women, any of them, what do you think a woman is going to treat you like if you wear your bullshit on your face? If you have no respect for the person that you want to lay down and sleep with, what do you think that person is going to treat you like when they can see that you don't give a fuck? <laughs> Women aren't as stupid or as dumb as anybody has been led to believe, no matter what color they are. So when it comes to Sergeant Willie Pete, or P, or whatever he is, he has some frustrations that have nothing to do with black women. They have nothing to do with anything. His frustrations are with him. His problems lie within himself. You don't like a group of women because of the way that group treated you. But, whatever you got from those women, they don't treat me like that. They don't look at me in the same way they look at you. Therefore, I don't think in the same manner you do when it comes to black women. Because me, I done been with all of them. That, right, whatever, all of them. Let me tell you something about all of them. They all demand the same amount of respect. They all deserve the same amount of respect. And they all need the same amount of respect. But, can you respect them and yourself too? Without thinking that you're slating yourself or cheating yourself. Please. The greatest thing ever happened to the world was women. The best thing ever happened for a black man was a black woman. For some white guys, black women. Some, for some black guys, white women, Asian, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever shoots your rocket. Whatever pops your cork. Whatever makes you feel good inside. Don't let nobody take that from you. Don't let nobody sway you from what you know. Don't let nobody tell you that this one woman is not good for you. When you can have any woman. Hmm. Let's not advertise for things that we cannot have. But understand this. If any man wants any woman, he must first show proper respect and then if that woman is worth anything if that woman has one iota one millicentitronometer or whatever if that woman's got that much respect for you then you can go a long way but if you start off thinking this woman is fucked up because of what she looks like, what she is, what she smells like, or whatever, you never ever get a chance of knowing what the woman is like. For those people out there who've never, never been with a black woman, how do you think they're going to feel when they look at this video and think that all black women are vindictive, hateful bitches? They will be misled because not all black women are hateful, vindictive bitches.